I'm gonna be honest with you. Just watching this video will not help you. I'm gonna get serious with you, but you have to be ready to act on everything I tell you. Look, I understand that life gets hard and some things happen that's totally out of all our control. But sometimes you just have to be honest with yourself. Even though I'm not in control of the situation I'm in, could I control the situation I'm in? In this video, I'm not only gonna tell you the four things you need to avoid if you wanna get rich, but I'm also gonna tell you exactly why you're stuck like this. The first reason you're poor is because you're lying to yourself. I'm a big advocate for people to visualize and see it before it happens. But there comes a point in time where you just really need to stop lying to yourself. For example, someone that wants to lose weight, you need to see the image of the person that you wanna be. Having a picture and a clear picture as to who you wanna be is super important. But if you're not actually doing the steps, but you keep saying like, I'm on this journey, I'm doing the thing, but you're actually not working out or eating better, you're lying to yourself. This is not something that you could avoid. You have to take action. The best way to stop lying to yourself is accountability. Tell somebody exactly what you wanna do and have them follow up with you so they could keep you honest. Anyone that's looking at this video has access to Wi-Fi, So you're on the internet, the World Wide Web. So there's a lot of information for you to start taking action and get the information to do exactly what you need to do. Understanding where you are and where you're going and having the information to get there is at your fingertips. You just need to implement and stop lying to yourself. So first of all, we gotta ask ourselves, are we actually meant to be rich? I believe that everyone is meant to be rich. I'm a Bible believer and so when God created the earth and he created Adam and he created Eve and he gave them all of the abundance in the world to enjoy, there was one thing he said that they shouldn't have, which meant that everyone is supposed to live in abundance. And so I believe that we were all meant to be rich. Now sin came in and things happened and you know the story, but just from this perspective, I think we were all meant to be rich. Now we may have different callings and what we do with the money is gonna all be totally different. But being rich is having money. What you do with the money, that's your purpose. And so I do believe you're meant to be rich. What you do with your wealth, that's on you. Now, what you do has everything to do with how you see yourselves. And how you see yourself is often based off of paradigms. And paradigms are a group of multitude of habits and behaviors that's been passed down from your parents, from your culture. And so you do the things that you've seen your parents do or people in your neighborhood do. We were all told that we needed to go to school, get a job, become a lawyer, become a doctor, and that's probably what you're aspiring to be. Well, in the days of TikTok and YouTube, now we're aspiring to be creators and all this other stuff. And so it may be different for you, but regardless of which, you're being influenced by what you see. And so you start to see yourself and identify yourself based on the things that you see, not typically what you were born to do, which goes into your purpose. And you identify yourself as money don't go on trees, or you've seen your parents struggling to pay the bills. That's how you're gonna start identifying yourself and showing up in the world. And this is something you gotta be really careful about because it starts to mold the person that you become. Now remember, earlier in the video, I told you I would tell you exactly why you're stuck like this. It's because of your paradigms. Your paradigms is also what leads you to not understanding money itself. There's a very big difference between spending and investing. Your paradigms is actually what leads you to not understand money at all. When I was younger, I was told to control my spending, to not spend money at all. You need to save it. Now in my 30s, I wanna invest, but that paradigm, that action, that belief of wanting to keep the money to myself made me struggle with actually beginning to invest. Now there's a major difference between spending and investing. When you spend money on groceries or cars, you need this to live, but there's no return on that money. When you invest money and you put it in the stocks or real estate, you get a return, you get money back. And that's the major difference between spending and investing. This is a financial paradigm that you need to understand to start changing your life. Now, this is the ultimate reason as to why you feel really poor is because you haven't figured out your purpose. 
in figuring out your purpose, it gives you the direction as to where to go in life so you can start getting work and get paid to live on purpose. So if you're curious about how to break your paradigms, click that video above. I go into way more details explaining how you can do it.